Hey guys, hope you all are doing well. In the last KT session, we saw the use of MS Excel VBO in Blue Prism, and in today's session, we will see the use of all the actions of utility string business object in the Blue Prism. So let's start. Open a process and take an action stage, and here select utility string object. So here we go. So we can see lot of actions here. We will discuss use of all these actions today. So first one is compare font text. The correct name should be compare text for this action. So in this action, we need to per, uh, give two samples, uh, sample one and sample two, and one input is conflicting character. As its name suggests, we will uh, compare the font text here. Means we will compare the text of sample one and sample two. and we will give a collection a uh, conflicting characters collection means if you want to uh, uh like if you want to ignore some uh, characters means uh, in first string we given a uh, blue prism and in second we given blue prism 5 so if in conflict character we will give 5 so it will ignore the 5 and compare other text so let's create a collection name as conflict characters and here create a field character group the name of the field should be character group and here we can add multiple characters let's say 5 so when we run the uh, in or uh, when we run this action we will get two outputs see sample equal or not it will be a flag means if both the samples are equal and two strings amended sample 1 and amended sample 2 so from sample 1 it will remove the conflict character if there is any and it will store the result in the amended sample 1 out or data item similarly it will do for sample 2 and we will get a flag means if uh, both the strings are equal or not amended means change means after change how sample one will look like see let me run the board see now we can see blue prism in both the strings in both the samples uh, sample one and sample two because in conflicting characters we have given 5 so 5 has removed from the sample 2 i have removed the space now let's rerun the board see sample samples are equal earlier it was not equal because uh, there was a space after blue prism in the sample uh, in the sample 2 so if we remove all the conflicting characters and we run the board see now we can see 5 in the amended sample 2 and samples are not equal so we got false in the sample flag there isn't any conflicting characters So we can use this action. I mean, if we want to uh, compare two strings, and we want it will compare all the characters instead of uh, some particular characters which we can define in the conflicting character uh, collection. Means if our string contains uh, some special characters or something, so we can uh, mention them in the conflicting characters, and then we can compare our text. Let's say hash or something. We can use. So in conflicting characters, we will add hash, and we can give multiple characters. So it will check for all those. Means hash six ampersand q anything. So it will treat as uh, it will treat all the characters individually. It won't check for hash six and this one. No, it will check for one character. Means hash then six then this one.
the next action is delete character so if we have a sample text and we want to delete a particular character so we can give it here so in input we will give the amended sample one in the text sample and we want to delete hash and in output we will get the amended sample so i have renamed this two sample text and in initial value we will give, give blue prism go back to the action and here change the name of the data item it is now sample text now run the board we got blue prism because we are deleting hash but there isn't any hash sign in the blue prism uh, sample text so this is how we can delete a particular character by using a by using this uh, delete character action and if we add a hash in the end or in the beginning or in the middle so blue prism will delete all these characters means all these hashes let's run the word again see in the amended sample we got only blue prism all the hash has been deleted here also we can give multiple characters like hash l u e if i give this one so it will delete all the hash signs all the l all the u all the e hash l u e it is not available in the amended sample now so let me show you one more example if we have a string like this black berry blackberry blue berry okay now if we delete let's uh, increase some uh, blackberry blueberry race no okay so we have uh five to six uh, names in this sample text data item and if we want to delete a particular character like l u e and hash so see there is there are a lot of l in black in blue see now see the result a l is removed from the black now it became back and uh, e e was in the l u we had e l u e so e is removed from the berry and also from the blue l u e removed from the blue it became b only and uh, e removed from the berry again if we give now see let's see on the board uh, we can see now in snow and now in the end also and uh, o is there in the row a see now has removed from the end and from snow also and o is removed from the row a let's this is how we can uh, remove the characters now go to the next action which is escape send key string so for example we have a string this sample text and we want to convert this into escaped send keys text so we can use this action so for us uh, means if we have, if we use any particular character like uh, special character or control or enter something so in that case uh, blue prism uh, can convert it to the escaped characters for simple string values it uh, won't convert it into the escaped uh, send keys character so let me update the string for example if we are using this black control plus u control plus v or something let's say control plus c and this car uh, bracket parenthesis so if we run this you can see there are curly braces so this is how blue prism convert uh, correct Characters into escaped send keys. All the special characters has been converted into escaped string. We will see the use of remaining actions in the next part of this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoy this video and found it helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more such content. Hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Feel free to leave any comment or question down below and I will be sure to get back 
to you until next time keep exploring learning and creating take care guys bye bye